Hi, hello friends, welcome to the channel. In today's session, we will be seeing Unit 1 of Mechatronics Introduction, MCQ section. Question number 1. Arrange the elements of Mechatronics in correct sequence. Option number A is given as actuators and sensors, then signals and conditioning, followed by digital logic systems, followed by software and data acquisition systems, and computer and display devices. Option number B is given as actuators and sensors, digital logic systems, signals and conditioning, softwares and data acquisition systems, computer and display devices. Option number C is given as computer and display devices, software and uh, data acquisition systems, digital logic systems, signals and conditioning, actuators and sensors. Option number D is given as computer and display devices, actuators and sensors, signals and conditioning, digital logic systems, software and data acquisition systems. First, what is the elements of see what is the element that is a flow chart like a flow chart what is what comes first which sequence comes first first there will be a actuator that actuator will be moving that movement will be sensed by sensors that actuators can be of mechanical type electromagnetic type pneumatic type hydraulic type anything it can be we can move a actuator with compressed air we can move actuators with a with what with hydraulic forces also we can move actuators with uh, in normal ic engines it will be burning the petrol or diesel then that power will be moving the piston that piston also can be sensed with a sensor suitable type of sensor there are many sensors such as pressure sensor temperature sensor movement sensor displacement sensor acceleration sensor there are various sensors the first element is actuator and sensor then it is followed by signals and conditioning which signal which type of signal whether it's a mechanical which is a electrical which a, whether it's a pressure and a pressure signal all that will be sensed which kind of signal will be sensed and it will be conditioned if they, it is less it will be amplified that will be done by signal and conditioning system then digital logic system they will be converted into suitable uh, digital Systems, digital system consists of microcontrollers, uh, logic circuits, which can over control the overall systems. That all comes, that all devices comes under digital logic system. The devices which control the overall systems in a mechatronics, that is called as digital logic system. Digital logic system consists of various devices like microcontrollers, digital uh, logic circuits. All that devices comes under digital logic systems. Then it is followed by software and data acquisition systems. The software and data acquisition systems collect the information, collect the input, collect the output from the actuators and sensors, signal conditioning in a suitable form, convert into something and collect the data and will be displayed in a computer and display devices. This is the job done by software and data acquisition systems. We know display devices such as our monitors, our LEDs, bulb, LCD bulbs, and uh, cathode ray tube, this all comes under computer and display devices. This is correct sequence. First, actuators. Actuators will be moving. That will be sensed by uh, sensors. Then, it will be uh, suitable signals will be converted, conditioned. Then, it will be converted and controlled by digital logic systems. Digital logic system controls the entire process of the mechatronic system. We need brain also for running our body. Our brain only will be uh, saying things what to do and what will they'll be analyzing. That part will be done by digital logic systems in mechatronic systems. Then software and data acquisition system, collection of data, then processing it. That will be done by software and data acquisition system. Then the last is computer and display devices which, is, which, is, which act as the output devices. Such as our monitor, we keep uh, LEDs, LCDs, cathode ray tubes, etc. So I'm going with option number A, actuators and sensor, signals and conditioning, digital logic system, software and data acquisition systems, computer and display devices. Question number two, which of the following is an element of mechatronic system? At which of the elements fall and comes under mechatronic system? This is a question asked. Actuators and sensor, option number A is given as actuators and sensors. Option number B is given as digital logic system. Option number C is given as computer and display devices. Option number D is, D is given as all the above. Actuators and sensors, yeah, it is say element of system, element of mechatronic system. That part comes under 
that sequence also so it's definitely an element of mechatronic system digital logic systems also is a sequence of is in a sequence of uh, working of mechatronic system you have also seen in the previous question so it is an element of mechatronic system computer and device, uh, display devices is a mechatronic system the element of mechatronic system so i'm going with option number all the above okay question number three the display devices used in mechatronic system are option a is given as led light emitting diode option number b is, b is given as crt cathode ray tubes option number c is given as lcd that is liquid liquefied crystal display liquid crystal display option number d is given as all the above led we have led bulbs if there is some input and it will be converted and they will be showing ah this much uh, led this uh, if you have an inverter when power comes it will be in green color when power goes off it will be turned into orange color that is given by led displays in lcd you will be having monitor screens that is coming under lcd and in crt if there is a change in output uh, it will be emission of cathode rays that comes under crt all the if there is any change in output or if you want to show some output if there is a presence of an output then there will be emission of cathode rays that will come under crt tubes this all the devices are display devices used in mechatronic system so i am going with option number d all the above question number 4 the various the various digital logic systems used in mechatronic systems are digital logic system what are digital logic system that the systems which control the overall operation of mechatronic systems are called digital logic systems option a is given as logic circuits option b is given as microcontrollers option number c is given as amplifiers and option number d is given as both a and b logic circuits and microcontrollers control the overall systems in micro mechatronics an amplifier doesn't control any system in mechatronics but it just amplifies the signal it just increases the intensity of the signal if there is a frequency of 0.5 hertz it will be converted into 2 hertz if there is a mechanical energy of 0 0.2 uh, kg force newton it will be converted into 3 newton some like that for showing the uh, in showing in display devices it will be converted that purpose is done by amplifier so i'm going with option number d both a and b the various digital logic systems are logic circuits and microcontrollers question number five which system acquires the output signals from sensors in the form of voltage frequency etc and it is inputted to the microprocessor or computer question five which system acquires the output signals from sensors in the form of voltage frequency etc and it is inputted to the microprocessor or computer option number a is given as software and data acquisition system option number b is given as computer and display devices option number c is given as signal and conditioning option number d is given as sensors and actuators sensors and actuators actuators moves and sensors uh, just notice there is a difference that comes by sensors and actuator part so it cannot be the correct option Computer and display devices can't act as an intermediate between input and that output because signals, uh, computer and display devices are the output. So, option B is also neglected. Option number C, signals and conditioning and software and data acquisition system. The input collected from the, the signals and conditioning just condition the, uh, the sensor signals and condition it. Okay, this kind of signal is coming and it condition it. But the main job is done here is software and data acquisition system that uh, acts as an intermediate between micro, micro, micro processor or microcontrollers and uh, it acquires the output signals from sensors in the form of voltage or frequency if there is a small voltage it will be amplified in signals and conditioning part but the main part is done by software and data acquisition system so i'm going with option number a software and data acquisition system software and data acquisition system acquires in the name also is there acquires acquisition software and data acquisition system acquires the you can also see here software and data acquisition system acquires the output signals from sensors in the form of voltage and frequency the word acquires gives you the answer etc and it is in, inputted to the microprocessor or computer 
So we are going with option number A, software and data acquisition system. Question number 6, the actuators used in mechatronic systems are Option number A is given as hydraulic actuator, option number B is given as electromechanical actuator, option number C is given as electrical motors, option number D is given as all the above. The actuator is, is of various kinds, pneumatic actuators, hydraulic actuators, electromagnetic actu electromechanical actuators, electrical motors, that is also an actuator, pump is also an actuator, that all come, that all are the actuators. Actuators displace motion that are used for creating some motion or with some energy or force, we are giving motion to it. That is called actuator. Actuators can, uh, in our uh, IC engines, will be piston as an actuator. In double acting cylinder, there is an actuator. It is similarly the same job done by a piston. Okay. Option number A is an hydraulic actuator. Option number B is given as electromechanical actuator. Option number C is given as electrical actuator. And option number D is given as all the above. All the three are the actuators, so I am going with option number D, all the above. Question number seven. Question number seven. The sensors used in mechatronic system are option number A is given as linear and rotational sensor, option number B is given as acceleration sensor, option number C is given as pressure sensor, and option number D is given as all the above. Sensors used in mechatronic system are linear and rotational sensor sense, linear sensor sense the displacement linear displacement and rotational sensor dis uh, sense the angular displacement pressure sensor sense the, the difference in pressure or change in pressure and acceleration sensor sense the change in acceleration or presence of acceleration so i'm going with option number d all the above all the three are the sensors used in mechatronic system question number eight like, example of mechatronic system is option number a is given as Numerical control. Option number B is given as NC, that is NC numerical control. Option number B is computerized numerical control. Option number B, CNC machines will be used in our labs also, and various uh, parts is also used by in CNC only. CNC means computerized. There will be a lathe machine, but the lathe machine will be controlled under CNC. There will be a drilling machine, it will be controlled under CNC. A machine first it will be in lathe, then it will be then go for a then go for surface finish. That also be comes under CNC. CNC and NC are the same, but in CNC will be used computerized method. In NC, there will be some manual method. FMS means flexible. FMS is flexible manufacturing system. is similar to CNC and NC only. It also is type of manufacturing system. All the three are a manufacturing system. And, and mechatronic system is employed in three kinds. The three NC, CNC and FMS. And all the three mechatronic system is employed. Other than these three, it, there is also DVD devices, uh, ATM, automated teller machine, coin counter, how much coins are there to be counted, digital camera, automatic camera, all are the examples of mechatronic system. So I am going with option number D, all the above. Our washing machine is also a mechatronic system. Question number 9. Data acquisition system consists of data acquisition system that colors data. This comes under the category software and data acquisition system. Consists of multiplexer option b is amplifier option c register and control secure security and option number d all the above register is used for memory purpose memory purpose and control purpose also there are various kinds of registers such as a register b register c register e register multiplexers is also done for same use it is used for uh, storing data and amplifier is used for giving some um, Increasing some uh, freak if the sound is too low we will be increasing sound using a software that also comes under data acquisition system That the purpose of amplifier just amplifies increase the quantity Increases power that is comes under amplifier. So I'm going with option number D all the above Question number 10 the main advantage of mechatronic systems is it has a complicity in identification and correction of problems in the system Option number B, it provides excellent performance characteristics. Option number C, initial cost is high. high. Initial cost is high is not an advantage. It has a complexity in identification and correction of problems in the system. It is also not an advantage. It provides excellent performance characteristics. Yeah, it is definitely an advantage. It is a good performance characteristic if you apply mechatronic system. Example of mechatronic system, it gives a good Advantage of mechatronic system is a good excellent performance characteristic. So I am going with option number B. 
it provides excellent performance characteristic question number 11 the disadvantage of mechatronic system are option number a is given as initial cost is high option number b is given as need highly trained workers to operate option number c maintenance and repair costs may work out costly option number d multidisciplinary engineering background is required to design and implementation option number e all the above for a mechatronic system you are buying a washing machine the initial cost is too high you are buying a fridge initial cost is high you are buying a ac initial cost is high automatic ac initial cost is high you are giving some amount that amount is high only nearby 20000 there is 30000 also that is initial cost is high option number b it needs highly trained workers to operate this is uh, this is for cnc machine this this uh, consider this point for a cnc machine for buying a cnc machine initial cost is high that uh, that point implies for acs and our uh, washing machines also but you guys may think why we need a trained worker to operate a uh, washing machine why do we need a trained worker to operate a ac for some reasons for some places some will uh, some points will not be suitable in here we will be taking here of cnc machine cnc machine is highly re work is worked by highly trained workers only maintenance and repair for cnc machine you have to learn codes that codes must trained workers only can apply the codes okay remember the codes option number c is given as maintenance and repair may work out costly yeah if there is any problem in cnc machine heavy damage for your pocket maintenance and repair work may work uh, work out costly you are there any damage in your tv any damage in your refrigerator the operator comes and take at least nearby 2000 rupees for sure question number d option number d multidisciplinary engineering background is required to design and implementation for if you are designing a uh, fridge you need if automatic fridge you need that will be sensed the temperature and will be controlled that kind of fridge you need mechanical engineering background that is rnc refrigeration and air conditioning background you need engineers from refrigeration and air conditioning background you need refrigerator from uh, condensation process that engineers you need engineers who are expert in thermodynamics that engineers you need engineers from electrical department that engineers you need then engineers for design department that engineers need all the engineers we are con we are bringing together and we are implementing for a single object so multidisciplinary engineering background is required to design and implementation it also requests it is also considered as a disadvantage and option number a b c d all other disadvantages of mechatronic system so i'm going to option number e all the above that that's all for today hope you guys hope you like this video please like it if you if you like the video subscribe to the channel and share your comments in the comment section thank you guys thanks for watching bye